Hey, this is Tom, and I'm back again with a, uh, a comic haul and a toy haul. Uh, this is perhaps one of the worst videos that I've ever made. Um, I've had nothing but trouble shooting it. This is third attempt at this. Um, so, now that I've composed myself, um, in addition to some comic books, I uh, got some action figures as well this haul. Um, I got these two Marvel Legends icons that you see here, plus this one as well, uh, for a grand total of $75. I got those, plus some other books that uh, you'll see from a friend of mine, John. I've mentioned him in some other videos. Uh, I also went to see the Captain Marvel movie this weekend, this past weekend. Uh, I enjoyed the movie. Um, I went in there with low expectations, and um, it was good. Um, I picked up the souvenir popcorn tub as well as the cup. Um, in addition to the Marvel Legends icons figures, I got these Star Wars archive figures. Um, thanks to uh, Tu Mua, he was able to find for me the Bosk and the Fett figures. I found the IG-88 on my own. I wanted to get all the bounty hunters, and uh, thanks to two, I was able to pull that off. Tried like hell to find them locally, just couldn't find them. Toy scalpers just grabbed them all. I went to Targets and Walmarts and just was unsuccessful. All right, um, on with the comic haul. Um, these, the first group of books that I'm going to show are just some of the more recent books that are out there that I picked up. Um, picked up a couple of copies of Wonder Woman 64, the art germ cover. I liked it so much. Picked it up, uh, three times. Red Sonia, number one. Uh, the cosplay. I'm not picking these cosplays up anymore. Um, I've got to just try to dial it back on what I'm picking up. Um, so I got uh, also Avengers No Road Home number one, uh, strictly for the cover. I picked up uh, Exciting Comics number one. This was not the cover that I, I had ordered off of Midtown, but uh, nothing I could do about it now. <clears throat> um, I got Blackbird issue five. Also uh, a strictly cover grab for the Jenny Frizen cover. I'm enjoying this Guardians of the Galaxy number two. Well, the, the run so far, uh, that's issue number two. I have to pick up issue three. I got uh, Red Sonia, number two, the Joe Jusco cover. Um, next con I'm at, definitely bringing that with me to get signed. Um, I'm actually reading, uh, I don't read as much as I used to. A lot of the books I pick up are, are for the cover grabs, but I am reading Conan the Barbarian. I'm enjoying this. I haven't read issue four yet. <clears throat> I also have issues one through three, which I haven't shown in any of my videos. They're just sitting up in my uh, my reading pile. I picked up a couple of copies of Batgirl number 32. And this amazing Wonder Woman 65 by Art Germ. And then I picked up a couple of more copies of... Harley Quinn, 58. I think I have like four of those now. And a couple of copies of Harley Quinn, 59. So those were all from my local shop. Um, in addition to those books, I picked up a couple of quarter books um, while I was there. Twilight Zone. Um... Untold Legend of the Batman. And a, a ghost 
uh, special from Dark Horse, Adam Hughes cover, which I don't think I had. <clears throat> and uh, a couple of dollar books I got from my local shop as well. X-Force number four, uh, second print, uh, Bloody Claw variant. Uh, these books were popular for a little while. Uh, they kind of, the hype has died down on those, I believe. Um, I'm not even sure if that was the the, uh, the popular one of the run. Um, I was glad to find this for a dollar, Toy Story. Um, my kids grew up on that. <clears throat> and Batman 643, just a cool Joker cover. Um, I also think it's a jock cover. Um, right, let me see if I can move these without bumping the table or knocking the camera over yet again. Because if that happens, I'm done. Just done. Nothing like talking to yourself for 20 plus minutes and then camera gets turned off. All right. All right. some room try to be as careful as humanly possible some other books that I got <clears throat> from my local shop I've been hitting it up a lot lately amazing spider-man number 45 got that for $12 um, I was very happy to grab that as well as Showcase presents number 66, first appearance of Bawana Beast. It's in really nice shape. <clears throat> Got that for $5. Um, let's see here. So those, in addition to those action figures that I got from John, he had thrown in some extra books. Um... Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, 311 and 312. An issue of Red Sonia. This issue I actually got from my local shop for the Frank Cho cover. That's number one. Venom, number seven. This is actually a hot book right now. Um, the one with the tongue is obviously the, the one you want, but this is the first appearance of Eddie Brock's son, and Venom number eight. And in addition to those, I got this book from him as well, uh, Web of Spider-Man number 50, but as you can see, we both believe that this is a, a Stan Lee signature. He said that his cousin had gotten it signed and uh, had given it to him. So that was part of the uh, $75 purchase. It's got some condition issues um, that I'm actually going to send to Erod, and he's going to press these out for me. <clears throat> it's got some water damage and some dirt. Um, but he thinks he can help it. Um, you know, if it turns out to be an authentic Stan Lee signature, um, and who knows, I figured I'd take the chance. I wasn't going to pay, you know, I say that a lot, but I wasn't going to pay this or wasn't going to pay that. But right after Stan Lee died, um, prices on his signatures on eBay were going through the roof. And um, so I took a chance at that. Plus, I got all those figures as well in the deal. Um, I made a trade with a fellow YouTuber who is a member of the New York Warriors, um, Manny NYC. I had traded him a Michael Jordan basketball card recently that I was selling on Instagram. And in return, he had sent me, well, this, this was a throw-in, uh, the Woody Woodpecker early, early Silver Age, um, I think it's from 1956 or 57. And some Wonder Woman books. Number 165. Damn it. 173. I can't wait to be done with this video, guys. I can't tell you. It's just been a disaster. 
and number 156. But uh, in addition to those, um, this was the big book of the whole, of the trade, uh, Plastic Man number 11. It's got some condition issues. And it's hard to see because the camera's a little far away, but I'm not touching it. Uh, it's got a slit um, from the top of the book down to about here. And it's got a uh, you know, spine roll on it. Uh, there is a cool date stamp, but uh, I'm happy to grab Golden Age books in pretty much any condition. I think I'm going to start trying to concentrate on getting some more horror books from the Golden Age. That seems to be where the money is lately. Um, I'd like to try to get a couple of those. Um, I also got some books from them uh, from my uh, from uh, man not Manny um, Marky from the New York Warriors, and uh, he had picked me up another copy of this, as well as I bought this from him. Um, Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, number two. It's a Canadian variant, um, which is kind of rare in the Golden Age, um, from what I understand. But the cover was completely detached and split. Um, so just to salvage the book, or sure make it a little bit sturdier, I stapled the, the cover back on. Um, it's not like I'm going to do anything with the book. Uh, I just wanted to preserve it as best as possible, and I, th I thought that would be the best thing to do. I got that for $10 shipped, so thank you, Marky. Um, but in addition to those uh, books there, he had had a little mini contest on his Instagram page to name the significant, to mention the significance of a, a book he got from Midtown Comics, um, it turns out that it was like the second or third appearance of Katty Keen. So I, I won that book as well as these other Archie books, Archie's Joke Book, and Betty and Veronica. So thank you, sir. And um, I also picked these up from the my local shop in Milltown, the Superman Gen 13 set. Unfortunately, book two is not the J. Scott Campbell book. That's the uh, the money book of the of the set. Um, but I'm glad I got this one because I didn't have that one in my collection, uh, issue one. So I'll add that to my J. Scott Campbell collection. I don't know, I'll make some room for some other spoils. All right. So, um, there was a con that I went to maybe two or three weeks ago, and uh, I didn't spend a lot there, maybe a total of $40, I think. Um, this was the best book that I got from the con, Epic Illustrated number three. This was a really popular book about two, three years ago, uh, when there was all that talk of uh, the Dread Star movie. So this is the first appearance of Dreadstar. He had a box of uh, magazines that uh, he was asking 50% off of the cover. A sticker price, and he had $20 on it. And uh, I got this for $10. And then this was a book that the seller had $50 on. And it was in a box. He said all of his Golden Age books were 50% off sticker. Um... I asked him if I could take it out of the 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 the, the bag, um, which I rarely do. Um, I should do that more often. And uh, I had noticed some other flaws to the book. Um, it had some it has some glue stain right there, and a rip there, and another thing there. So I wound up getting this for twelve bucks. Um, I was happy with that. Uh, Fight Comics number sixty six. And then I got Marvel Superheroes number 17. And I think it reprints some of those early Black Knight stories um, from the Golden Age. 
and then some dollar books that I did not have. Amazing Spider-Man number four variant. That's uh, whatever volume has the Civil War two. Um, Iron Man two eighty one. Uh, first cameo appearance of War Machine. Thought that was a good book for a dollar. Tomb Raider number 18, Adam Hughes cover. X Men 267, second appearance or third appearance, depending on you know how you rate these things, um, of Gambit. Somebody actually tried to get $15 for that book at one point there, and I uh, got it for a dollar. Um, this book was hot for like a minute, may, may still be. Um, Silver Surfer Annual number six, still in the poly bag. First appearance of Legacy. Very happy to find this finally. Terminator, The Burning Earth, one of three. It's got some spine ticks, um, but I've never seen this book out in my travels and in all the years I've been collecting. Um, and what's so special about this book, it's the first published work of... Um, the hell's the matter with me? Of Alex Ross. You know, it is after you do a video for the third time, you kind of just lose interest, and I think that's what I'm doing here. Um, these books I got at the con for three bucks each, and this, I was very happy to finally get my hands on these. I kind of made them a little PG um, for YouTube. Um, Venus Domina, some uh, date, great Dave Stevens covers. Got these for three bucks a piece. So those were the books that I got from the hall. Nothing, nothing too major. I was very happy to get the Dave Stevens books and the um, the Alex Ross book and the first appearance of Dreadstar. Uh, even if the movie's not getting done anytime soon or ever. A couple of video go, videos ago, I showed a uh, just an arts and crafts piece that I did out of a, uh, a cardboard pizza wheel. Well, I was back at it again recently. I did that out of a, a torn up Godzilla comic that I had. Um, I might do another one uh, if I have another one of those pizza wheels laying around. All right. Uh, coming down the home stretch... Again, and uh, so I had actually sold some books on Instagram recently, uh, some X Men books from the from the '90s run, uh, and I got fifty dollars for them. Um, nothing really significant or major in there. Um, the best well known book was the the Jim Lee cover. It has Wolverine, Captain America, and Black Widow on it. And um, somebody bought those from, for me, from me. And I took the money that I got for those books and turned them into these Golden Age books. Um, Jungle Comics 125 and Jungle Comics 122. I paid a total of like $48 shipped for those. So I think that was a pretty good trade um <clears throat> for those all right we've got uh how many books left just four i did less rambling in this video maybe i was uh better with all the retakes uh, this was a book that i had spotted on instagram and uh those of you who are not on Instagram, um, I highly advise you getting involved with Instagram and follow the artists and the people that you like. And uh, otherwise, I would never have known about these next couple of books here. I follow Lucio Perillo on Instagram, and uh, I got this uh, exclusive from, oh, I can't remember which company it was. Um, but it's a Lucio Perillo. Let me see if I can do something about the glare. A Vampirella Deja Thoris cover. He had shown this on his Instagram page and said where it was available. And, um, there was a seller on eBay that was like the exclusive 
uh, for this book. I was very, very happy to get that. Add that to my Lucio Perillo collection. And then got this other amazing Lucio Perillo cover. Um, this is for... I forgot... Uh, Doll girl, no. Um, uh, I'll think of it when the video's over. But uh, that was another Lucio Perillo exclusive. It's not Lady Death. It's um, Zombie Tramp cover. And supposedly this is uh, this is uh, there. Uh, <clears throat> they said it's it's like a nude variant, but I, I don't see that here so maybe there's yet another version to this cover um but i was very happy to get that as well and uh, it also came in a top loader um so that came from sanctum centurium comics uh i believe was the name of the seller they're also on instagram and then i got this book from huh might have gotten this from Instagram as well. This is what happens when you let these books sit around for so long. You kind of forget where you picked them up and how much you spent for them. But uh, it's a really nice Captain Marvel comics. Um, this is number 54. Captain Marvel Adventures number 54. I've got quite a few of those now. I think I may take it easy on looking for these Captain Marvel books. Um and really save up for the for just a really nice horror book and i'm not even talking about one of the the ec you know books like tales from the crypt or crime suspense suspense stories like one of the other type horror books um that are, you see out there one of the bigger money books and then the last book of the haul is um a really nice copy um of this book Maybe it can be pressed. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I never really press anything. Um, but it's got really sharp corners and a nice spine to it. Um, and it is Police Comics number 100 from 1950. As soon as I saw this book, uh, I, I, I said I had to have it. So, just take a good look at that. Again, the staples are kind of in a weird spot, but um, I've seen other books like this. So there's one there and one there, but that spine is just really nice. I don't know if you can see it. There's There may be some pressable defects there, like right here. But other than that, uh, this is a super duper nice book. Um, one of the nicer books in my collection. And uh, I think that will finally do it. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching um, and, uh, and, and liking and commenting on my videos. I, I really appreciate it. And um, I like interacting with everybody either on here or on Instagram. It's, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, seeing what other people have picked up as well. It's it's fun way to end my day, you know, watching other people's videos and, and seeing the different types of uh, videos that are out there. Some people just pick up, you know, the current stuff and the, and the variants. Other people are more back issues. So I like to watch it all. It's all it's all great stuff. And uh, thank you for, for taking the time to watch. And uh, until next time, we'll see you then. Bye.